Today on Cabela's Deer Gear TV, we'll show you various ways to attract deer. From cover scents and rattling, to developing feeding programs. All this and more here on Cabela's Deer Gear TV. Whitetail hunters are always looking for ways to attract deer into their area. In this episode, we'll take a look at a few different ways you can entice deer, and we'll start with cover scents. How awesome would it be to have a creek that we could all walk down and climb right up into our hunting stand? I mean, you talk about being able to eliminate any scent you're going to leave getting to and from your stand, but <laughs> that's not always going to be possible. So when we start talking about scent control uh, and attractants, basically, those are two topics that really get people interested and they're gravitated towards them, what's real, what's not, and how do they work and why do they work, and, and in my opinion, both of those play a huge role in certain situations in your hunting scenarios. Me personally, you know, clothing is, is going to be the first thing. Trying to use a good quality hunting garment that can keep some of that scent in would be a way to do it, but using different types of devices, using different types of uh, products out there are going to be key. For me, uh, the scent stick. That's what I like to deploy a lot of different uh, cover scents. The Evercom is one of my favorites from Conquest Scents. You can get it in liquid form, you can get it in a wax form, you can put it inside the, the scent stick and be able to deploy it next to you all the way around. And so it's basically whatever direction the wind's going to go, it's going to put that out there for you. Another great aspect of the uh, Conquest Sense Evercom product is it comes in a solid as well that you can put on your clothes, you can put it on your boots, especially put it around the edges of your boots when you're walking in to help eliminate leaving a scent trail. So if you don't have a creek like we've got right here to sneak down, that's a great way to concentrate on your cover scent aspects. I like to also use attractants a lot of times. I don't necessarily use attractants as much during the early season. My main focus during the early season is trying to cover a lot of scents. I don't think that the dough and heat uh, type products and any of the buck uh, testosterone type things are gonna work in those September, October places where I'm typically hunting. The bucks are still together. They're still getting along. The rut hadn't even begun to begin yet. So it's cover scents. Now, when I know they start to get into that pre-rut and rut situation, that's when I want to apply the attractants. And how you apply the attractants? Well, once again, some of the same methods I talked about, a scent stick, uh, using some of the different solids that you can rub on you, or a scent fire product. The scent fire device by Conquest Scent has recently been released to allow hunters a variety of options to be able to basically remotely deploy scent type devices out into the environment that they're hunting in. In the cases of using cover scent or attractant, you basically choose what you want and you can screw it right into the top here, really easy. We've got Evercom in here right now. You can see the threads into the bottom. The scent will actually come out the top right here. You screw this in. You simply turn it on with a touch of a button. It's battery operated, uses AA batteries, and then you, the hunter, can decide how you want to deploy it. Ground blinds, tree stands, box blinds, rattling, spot and stock, all of those types of hunting applications can play a role with this. We've got telescoping devices to where you can get it up higher off the ground. Uh, if you're really running and gunning and you've uh, got a little tripod mount, you can set it down, or you can screw it into something using the bottom right here to be able to put it in a tree to be able to uh, get above you or around you when you're in a tree stand. And for me, the options and how I think it really plays a big role, cover scent wise, early in the season, you can put this out in whatever deployment method that you want, turn it on, it can go off manually or via the remote control and blast Evercom off into the distance to cover your the way that you got into the, into the stand or downwind of you so that you can continue to open up more areas that you're gonna be hunting. From an attracting standpoint, VS1, what a great way to be able to deploy uh, that type of ascent into the environment when the deer are rutting. You constantly can put dough and heat out there basically. So anytime a buck comes by or is in the area, you've got fresh scent going out. So it's a very easy way to be able to deploy scent in a lot of different situations. We've been putting it into use for about a year now and the results speak for themselves as far as deer staying comfortably and calm in that area. So scent control, to me, comes in a lot of different situations as well as the attractants. And you can find out a lot more by going to Conquest Scents to learn more about their full product line of all the scent aspects out there, both the attractants and the cover scents. 
When we return, we'll focus more on attracting deer during the rut by making scrapes and rattling them in. Stay tuned. Deer Gear is brought to you by Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Your adventure starts here. Yamaha's proven off-road ATVs and side-by-side -side vehicles. Garmin Zero Bowsight. Leave the guesswork behind. We know if you found one crappie, you may have found a thousand. We know the joy of getting your boots back in the mud. We know the journey can be more rewarding than the destination. We know the great outdoors. We love the great outdoors. Bass Pro Shops and Cabela's. Stop by today for huge savings on the gear you need and the brand you trust. Plus, free two-day shipping at BassPro.com and Cabela's.com. How do you aim a 36-yard shot with a 30-yard fixed pin at a 15-degree angle with a 7-inch holdover without moving a single pin? Easy. You get one of these. Zero. The auto-ranging digital bow sight from Garmin. As we continue to talk about attracting deer to areas in different ways, Wade has another tool from Conquest Sense, the 4-in-1 Scrape Maker. The Scrape Maker can make authentic licking limbs, realistic mock rubs, and a scrape that looks like a massive buck made it. By using the Scrape Maker, you will be able to locate and harvest the dominant buck in your area. Great tree to go in and build a mock scrape. You get a little overhanging branch for licking. That little tool right there really allows you to dig down and make a mock scrape real easy. You can, if you've seen a lot of scrapes, you can see those lines where a deer will come in and tear that up just like that with the hooves. One little final thing a lot of time that you can do to put a little something like some attracting in here. This will use a little bow and heat. Just kind of mix it in there really get him. You want to even drive them more crazy. You can put it on limbs above it. Just kind of helps get the scent, in my opinion, into the air. A little higher elevation that's out as well. So it's an easy mock scrape right there. I mean it looks just like a big scrape that you'll find in an area out there and you can go in here and throw in mock rubs, you know, like right over here. Deer's been making a rub. We can go in and make a competing rub all the way around him and really get him mad. I mean, this is his love den. He's trying to come in here and breed all these does. And so we want to convince him that, hey, somebody else is coming into his love shack and trying to get into the den. And he ain't going to like that at the end of the day. Maybe to give you a chance to get him. Check out ConquestSense.com for the scrape maker, as well as all their different kinds of hunting scents and attractants. During the rut is when deer are the most active. In some cases, the deer that you've seen regularly in areas during the season have suddenly vanished as they make their rounds in search of does and territory to claim. Rattling is a fun and engaging way to attract those big territorial bucks. When it comes to rattling, there's a lot of different nuances that I believe uh, that can pay off for somebody. You know, if somebody's high up in a tree uh, doing rattling, the way that they would rattle in that tree, the sounds that they would make, the aggressive sounds, the, the length of it, the, the, you know, how loud it might be would be totally different in my opinion than how somebody might rattle on the ground in a, in a place in like say deep south Texas where there's a lot more deer that are, are going to be in that fighting mode. When I'm rattling uh, up in a tree stand, I tend to be a little more subdued. I don't tend to rattle quite as loud. Um, I'm trying to attract some deer. I'm trying to make some sounds out there to bring them in. Um, you know, I'm not banging on the trees as much. I'm not moving my body as much. I'm, I'm kind of lightly rattling a lot of times to, to a moderate medium sound. 
However, when I'm down on the ground and I really think that there's massive fights going on and the deer are rutting and they're coming to the antlers, I'm far more aggressive. Um, I'm moving the angles of my antlers around up high, down low to change the sound, which is what would happen in a real deer fight. You know, deer don't just stand and fight head to head and stay in one spot. Their heads are going up, down, their bodies are moving, they're spinning around, there's rocks being moved around, there's brush being kicked around. And so I like to simulate that in a fight. And I also, if I'm hunting in a place that has big deer, I rattle really, really loud. I think not rattling really loud can be a mistake some people make in certain situations. And by that, I mean if you're just kind of lightly ticking the antlers, simulating a little four or six point fight in each other, you know, you're probably going to get those kind of results. But if you're in a place that's got big deer, mature deer, that are in that 130, 140, 150 and up class, and they've got big necks and big bodies, and when they fight, it's like two heavyweights going at it, two, two big offensive linemen fighting against the defensive line. I mean, uh, you know, the fight of all fights out there, that's the type of fight I want to simulate. I want to be louder, I want to be more aggressive, and I want to be able to make sounds that would mimic two big mature bucks fighting. But I also have to understand if I'm hunting in an area that don't or doesn't have those kind of deer, then I don't want to make as much loud noises. I don't want to simulate those types of a buck fight. I want to be a little more subdued. You have to understand the location that you're rattling in to be successful. I think that's one of the biggest keys. You have to understand the time of year uh, to be able to mimic what type of, of sounds you want to make. If you're hunting in an area uh, where there's a lot of does, uh, there's not as many deer fights, and the, and the bucks are generally fairly small, then you probably want to mimic that type of a sound. You want light tinkling, light action. Uh, and conversely, early in the season, a lot of times, that's how I want to fight or simulate a fight. I want to be a little bit lighter in my sounds. Now, I want to flip that switch. If I'm hunting a place that has big deer, and I mean big body deer that fight, and when they fight, it's two, two mammoths going for the new heavyweight world title. I want to rock those antlers together as loud as I can. I want to make lots of sounds. You'll see me even kick rocks. You'll see me thrash trees at times. Because when two big boys are fighting, that's what's going on. They're not just standing there slapping each other around. They're trying to kill each other. When we return, we join Wade and Tony Mealy from the Performance Center in the field to see if Wade can rattle in a shooter. Deer Gear is brought to you by 10 Point Crossbows. Perfection lives here. Thompson Center, America's master gun maker. Walkers, protect it or lose it. Wiley X, go confidently. The all new Yamaha Wolverine X2. With a compact chassis, perfect for exploring tight technical terrain. An ultra quiet and smooth 850 class twin cylinder engine and next level versatility with a 600 pound dumping cargo bed. No other side by side delivers this level of proven off road performance. The all new Wolverine X2 from Yamaha. The Thompson Center Compass 2. A feature rich rifle packed with value and a higher standard of reliable accuracy. Now with generation two trigger and threaded muzzle, offered in scoped and non-scoped versions and in a wide variety of calibers, from the range to the fields to the mountains, TC has a rifle to match every hunter's needs. In the last segment, we talked about how rattling can bring deer in during the rut. Well, let's join Wade and Tony Mealy from the Performance Center on a handgun hunt and see how the rattling works firsthand. There's deer looking at us right there. We're just going to barely go inside this gate and get right in here, try to bang them, see what's down there, come this way. Let's just kind of... I mean, I'm hoping I can get them out in this road. Yeah, we'll go up here to the corner. Go ahead. 
get we got to get to that bush. There's two good ones up there. That real wide one, but he may only be a big six point. But let's shoot him if we get a chance. He's a really good deer. We got to watch this doe. Oh, it's a spike. He hits the, the racks together and this little guy comes running up. I mean, it wasn't that little, but he was smaller. Some wasn't something we're gonna shoot, but we thought he was gonna come over the fence and jump on top of us. This guy was excited and he was out of his mind. So this, this one, one, one deer, uh, an older deer, and, and you know, Wade says, hey, that's an older deer. He says, this might be a, a good deer to take. He's a really old deer. He'd be a good deer to shoot. Really old deer. You get him if you got him here. Oh, good job. He's gonna be down. He's gonna be down right there. He's gonna go down right there. Good shot, good shot. Good shot, good shot, good shot. That's an old buck. That's a good old deer. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you want to shoot. That's a good old deer. You put the smack good down on that one. <laughs> good job, dude. That's a good shot, Tony. <laughs> ah, man, I love this. I mean, it can go down so fast and it can take forever. And you, just, <sighs> you just don't know. That's a great shot on an old buck. You can see the old brisket is all hanging. He was, he's yeah, an old yeah. deer. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> <laughs> Success again with man, the handgun. I'll tell you what, that rattling is great. I though, love ain't it. it. It's man. fun. You just never Oof. know how it's going to go down. Sometimes it goes down good. Sometimes it doesn't go down at all. When it does, yeah. it'll get the adrenaline pumping. Yeah. I mean, we had a couple that actually came in here. That one was actually a little better, but he wasn't as old. So that was the right one to shoot. <laughs> I love that, man. Good shot, too. He's down right yeah. over there. That was awesome. Look at this old guy here. He's all broke up, extra time there, extra. He is destroyed and broke up. Oh, uh, he got an impacted jaw, too. <laughs> <laughs> that is good. I mean, when you can bang it, look at his hawks. He's been chasing everything. Of course, we watched them all up there chasing, coming to the, coming to the antlers, and you get to crawling and moving around when you get a chance to bust one you got to take them in a, a scenario like that that was perfect yeah he's in good shape he is in good shape he's an old deer though i mean you can what's interesting right now is our deer you know coming out of last year in the rut in the early spring we didn't get a lot of rain down here and they really suffered in their antler development then and then we had a ton of rain in texas and so all their body shapes are in phenomenal condition but it, it shows you what range conditions mean to the you know free range and native Texas deer, when they don't get that nutrition from mother nature, they, they'll go down about 15 to 20% a lot of times. And, you know, and this guy here is a great buck, but you know, he's, he's an old guy and uh, a great one to take. A great one to take with anything, but rattling with but a handgun. Rattling with a handgun, <laughs> yeah, it's fun. That's even better. He's got some damage right there. I guess he's got an impacted tooth right there. Well, he won't have to see the dentist. No, he won't have to see the dentist. He's gonna be cooked. That's kind of cool right there. That little extra time coming off his main beam. Good stuff, as always. Thank you. Enjoyable. Good job. <laughs> always enjoyable. Check out the Performance Center hunting handguns at smith-wesson.com. Stay tuned. We'll wrap up our episode talking about how you can attract deer while also providing nutritional benefits. Deer Gear is brought to you by Conquest Sense, Hunting and Dog Sense, 
Sawyer Products, we keep you outdoors. Performance Center by Smith & Wesson, performance when it matters most. This changes everything. The Ultra Compact Vapor RS 470. The AccuSlide Safety Cocking System revolutionizes the crossbow market. Simply backwind the handle, stopping at any point without fear of damage, injury, or losing control. Its reverse draw design generates 470 V per second. Its three and a half pound zero creep trigger delivers same hole accuracy. The all new Vapor RS 470 from 10 Point. Attracting game while also providing nutritional benefits has become very popular in the past few decades. And one of the companies at the forefront of assisting hunters and game managers with this is Record Rack. Let's learn more about how they suggest and assist you in creating management programs and attracting wildlife to your hunting areas. What we got here is a hunting set on a tank dam and we've obviously got water that deer are naturally coming to. But the problem is we've got nine million acorn trees out here and there's just a blanket of acorns under them. So what do we do? How do we get deer in front of this blind? We know they're going to come to water, but they can come to water anytime. So let's try and find something that we know deer are going to eat and these are the products that we have. So we've got deer blocks, we've got Record Rack Golden Deer Nuggets, and we've got our mineral. And you know a lot of people always say, well hey, which one's the best? If it was me, deer like to have choices, I'm going to put them all out there because you never know. Some deer might want to come after the salt, some deer might want to come after a block. Some deer might want to be able to pick a bunch of stuff up and they want this. So uh, the best thing to do is give them options. If you're going to use it, the, you know, they're all berry flavored. They can smell this stuff from a mile away. So what I like to do is just position them in different spots. I don't want to put them all right next to each other. Like I don't want a deer block next to a mineral pile next to a bunch of deer nuggets. I want it scattered completely around. So a good way, I mean, this is somewhere that uh, I, I believe they're going to hunt here in the next day or two. Uh, but it wouldn't surprise me to have deer on this stuff tonight. So Bobby, I'm gonna stick the block over here on the other side. Yeah, I think where you got that trail coming in right there and then where this trail is right here. That'll work. I'm gonna put our mineral on a little bit of a higher spot. That yeah. way, you know, this mineral can last a little while. So it's always good. I like to have spots like this where we baited with corn first so we know we got deer coming to it. They'll smell this berry from a long ways off, but uh, once they're coming to it and they get on this mineral, they're gonna keep coming to it till it's gone. So this, this is a pretty good transition for the block here. We're gonna put it a little bit further away from the water, just in case pigs and deer get to rolling around. We really don't want it to get off in the water and soak up everything and get runt. So get the plastic off here. <clears throat> well, that smells good. And that's it, it's ready to go. Find you a good spot? I think it's gonna work pretty good. I don't think we need to be very scientific about it. I mean, we know deer are gonna come into this spot. I say just get it all the way around it so they, they can't help but find it. Cause like I said, they're gonna, once they find this stuff, they're not leaving until they get it all gone. So I would just kind of scatter it around basically just like we got a big feeder. If there's any deer in this county, I know where they're gonna be at. <laughs> yeah, they're gonna be at this tanks where they're gonna be. Visit recordrack.com to learn more about all the nutritional products they have to offer. That will conclude this episode of Cabela's Deer Gear TV. We'll see you next time. We plan all year for this. We hone our skills. We have confidence in the gear we choose. We pour over thousands of images and videos. When the time comes, will you be ready? Introducing the all new 4K camera by Stealth Cam. Proven.
What does it take to make Evercom deer scent? It takes a deer farmer who raises whitetails. It takes mixing the special blend of Evercom, testing each batch. Smells like deer. And then pouring each container. Each container is cleaned, examined, and packaged for shipping. It takes the finest deer herd and a great team of people to make the best hunting scent available. Evercom, from Conquest Scents. We demand a lot from the products that we use on our adventures around the world. When it comes to keeping things seriously cold, we rely on Angle Coolers, who have for over 50 years kept things cold. Angle Coolers, the original high-performance cooler. Nobody likes crawling, creepy, or flying bugs. So ward them off with Sawyer Permethrin. It's more than a repellent. This odorless spray repels and kills mosquitoes, ticks, and more than 55 other kinds of insects. Sawyer, we keep you outdoors. Protect it or lose it. 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 Want to know why the top shooting pros choose HiViz? HiViz has an enormous lineup of sights for every shooting platform possible that are clean looking and easy to mount. Improve your shooting with faster target acquisition and eliminate cross-eyed dominance. HiViz sights are the brightest out there, helping you find your target with ease no matter the shooting conditions. Choose the best, choose HiViz, and see what you've been missing. I came back from Afghanistan with a traumatic brain injury. I couldn't talk. I still can't talk right. I didn't want to leave the house. Then my wife, God bless her, she got me off the couch and said, hey, enough's enough. You got to get back outdoors. The hunting gave me a whole new purpose, you know. It sped up my recovery big time. When I was deployed, I trusted Trader Con, and I still do today. Sergeant Rob Gustafson, U.S. Army retired. Trigicon, brilliant aiming solutions.